Why, hello, man. The sheriff and the mayor are expecting you. Go on in. Thank you, Miss Daisy. All right, Sheriff, I'm here. Hello, Your Honor, Madame Lot. Ivor, how are you feeling, sir? I've been a lot better, Matt. All right, I'm here. I hope this is important because I'm missing school. What is Mr. Clark doing here? Madame Lot can stay as she is assisting. But I mean, I'm sorry, Matt. Matt can't stay. Now, Smokey, some may put up with your cheek, but Deputy Railroad Marshal or not, I will. Actually, Smokey, they can. Matt, I need you to come over here. By the mayor. Will you please? Matt, raise your right hand. What? What's going on here, Your Honor? Smokey's right. I, I shouldn't. Just raise your right hand, Matt, and shut up. Now repeat after me. I swear to uphold the laws and statutes of the town and county of Big Gulch and defend all innocents and relentlessly pursue the guilty to the best of my ability. What? Just say the consarn words, Matt! I swear to uphold the laws and statutes of the town and county of Big Gulch and defend all innocents and relentlessly pursue the guilty to the best of my ability. Now, by the power invested in me as mayor and judge of Big Gulch, I now appoint you sheriff of Big Gulch. What? what? But, Buck is sheriff. What is going on? Now, Matt, things have come up, and I have stepped down as sheriff temporarily. But I retain the rank and authority as chief deputy. Donna and Diesel Dan have already been deputized. Dan will be here shortly. But, Sheriff, Buck, what is going on? Will somebody tell me? So, as I've resigned, but it's not an election year, the former sheriff and mayor can form a list of temporary citizens who can be offered the job until the next election. We made a list... And you're the only one on it. My original deputies have disappeared, and I can't deal with this. So desperate measures were called for. Uh, 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 I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, just take the damn job and shut up, Matt. Your Honor, Diesel Dan and that Marshal Tucker here, sugar. Can I be deputized too? Show them in, Daisy. And no, you cannot be a deputy right now. Well, it seems... All my talents are being forgotten or ignored here. Fine. Hey, Matt! Did they swear you in? Um, yes. Yes, I, I guess they did. How are you? Hello, Marshal Tucker. Now can someone tell me what is going on here? Well, now that we are all here, I shall explain. You have been called hither. Called, I say, though I have not called you to me. You have come here and are met in this very nick of time, by chance as it may seem. Yet it is not so. Believe rather that it is so ordered that we who sit here and none others must find counsel for the perils of our world. What? what? Oh, sorry. I just broke into a little token verse. I've been able to help Ivor deal with the poisoning by this vile drug. And he has much to tell us that we should all hear immediately. All right, Ivor. Tell them what you told me and Smokey. It's hard to remember everything but this cool cat. I mean, I mean, man... He calls himself the Kahat. He's an opium smuggler. He has a special type he calls his recipe. It makes you see things and do things you don't want to do. <sighs> he wants to spread it throughout the country. He has a band of followers and they do his bidding. He killed Miles Dugo. And he has Wilbur Farr working for him. That's why I'm here, Matt. Sheriff Dannon summoned me when he heard about the fall to go disappearance. We've been looking for them for two weeks along with their missing train. Train workers and wagons have been disappearing all through the southwest. We have men everywhere and are having no luck. It's all gone to hell lately. We have local homesteaders go missing. I've got deputies missing. Somehow this has to be connected. So where is this guy? Sounds like Matt Marshall Tucker should form a band and go arrest him. Where's mine? Where's your what? No, they're at where's mine. His commune is there. All right, let's get some men together and head out there. Hold on, Marshal. Ivor, why kidnap the railroad tycoons? How does that factor into this kahat? The kahat. You don't want to get punished. How does this all factor into the kahat's opium plans? He said a benefactor wanted them removed. He was supposed to kill them both, but he wanted Wilbur and me. Who is Benny Factor? Is he someone we should know? Hmm, I wonder if he meant Benefactor, a supporter, you know, a business partner. 
is a, a partner. But the Kaha wants to kill the Benny Factor too. Sounds like a lousy partnership. So why'd they want you, Ivor? I was supposed to drive his peace train. He going to smuggle his opium on trains. Now he did kill Miles to go, you say? Yes, I remember. He killed him on the train. Well, I think you all better get out there quickly. Sheriff Clark? Marshal Tucker? No, wait everybody, there's more! Tell them about the war, Ivor, what you told us about the war. Uh, I'm tired. A war, the Kahad, he, 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 he to start a war. A war? A war between whom? The Cleveland tribe. The Kahad, he must start a war between them and us. The Cleveland tribe has been peaceful for close to 20 years. Why does this Kahad? The Kahad, you don't want to get punished. Why does this fellow want a war with them? He say he don't want war. Benny Factor wants the war. What? Why does someone want a war with my people? Now Daisy, I mean Miss Kake, you do not belong here. Oh shush, Silas. The name's Little Beaver and I'm of the Cleveland tribe. And no one is starting a war with my people. I've got to warn them. Miss Beaver, please, wait a moment. Daisy, uh, Miss Cockett, uh, Little Beaver, hold on. You're on a wait. We need to. Ivor, why does this benefactor want a war? Something about the land. Benny Factor needs the land. He wants blue balls to take the land. Blue balls? I'm sorry, does someone need help? I think he means blue boys, the U.S. Cavalry. Fort Anspoon, Matt. That would be the closest military, wouldn't it? But who will attack whom? The Cleveland tribe has been at peace, and Fort Anspoon wouldn't go up to the reservation without provocation. They, they took a general. Now please, I need rest. Can I go back to the club? Oh, the poor man is wore out. He needs a rest. Yes. But I like Nurse Cherry, too. <laughs> She's nice to me. Very nice. Well, it seems we have some work cut out for us. I think we need to get word to Fort Anspoon. I will ride out to the old mines and see what I can learn. Marshal Tucker, you get to the telegraph office and get word to Fort Anspoon. Then meet me at Collier's Bluff. I'll be on it, Matt. I mean, Sheriff Clark? Hmm, Sheriff Clark just doesn't sound the same. And now I suppose I will be told to stay here. It's too dangerous. No, Smokey, you aren't really a law officer. No, Smokey, you can't just arrest people. No, Smokey, that's not what those handcuffs are for. It's all a bunch of horse poop. No, Smokey. See? I knew it. No, Smokey, I need you to work with Marshal Tucker. Tell him what all you've learned. Then get in touch with the railroad companies and tell them what we've learned about Miles Tugo and Wilbur Farr. Really? Then go with the sheriff. I mean, Deputy Dannon, and contact the miners' camp and ask them to send reports on trains, any trains, especially special or unannounced trains rolling through. Get that information to me quickly. We all have work to do, so let's get at it. But I need to go catch that daisy. Daisy! Daisy Cockett! Now you wait up, gal. Don't try to stop me, Matt. My people are in danger. I want to think of it. But I also don't need anyone doing anything rash my first day on the job. If you will give me a bit of time to get more information together, I will help you and we will both make sure your people are safe. You would help me? After I, well, after I try to get you all killed? Yes. What you did was last series and this is a new one. And I have it on good authority that you are truly changed. But whose authority would that be, darling? The writers, of course. Daisy! Miss Cockett, Little Beaver, now you just hold on there. Silas, you will not stop me. This is family. This is blood. And they are in danger. I wouldn't dream of it, sweetheart, uh, darling. I mean, Daisy, uh, Miss Cockett. Oh, hell, I can't keep any of it straight anymore. I will go with you. I helped bring peace to our peoples before, and I will not let anyone ruin that peace now. Your Honor, I don't think you... Mac Locke, you are temporarily the new sheriff, but I am still the mayor, and I do believe I outrank you. Plus, I was a colonel in this here army, and I know these people. You will need my experience and expertise. Uh, hey, Matt. Uh, Matt. Mac Clark. And, uh, uh, hello, Daisy. Are you cold? Tits, I mean, it's, is a bit nipply. I mean, 
nipples, I mean, nippy outside. I mean, it's a nice day and all, but... I'm just fine. Thank you, Mr. Zuckerberg. Now, if you'd just get your eyes horizontal, please. Oh, and, uh, mail, uh, mail some bitch, yeah, uh, hey, I just got this telegraph from Fort Anspoon, you know? Like the military plays up the road, uh, uh, they say it's very important, and it's for the mayor and, uh, the sheriff of Big Gulch, right? So I, I thought, y you know. Well, you found both, boy. Matt is now sheriff, so what is so important? Well, you know, I got this telegraph from Fort Anspoon, right? And, uh, it says, you know, that, uh... Just what does it say, Mr. Zuckerberg? We are in a hurry. Well, it's, it's like a warning, and I wasn't sure if this was a violation of our uh, messaging rules and such, but I thought I would, you know, I mean, it does sound like a threat, and might need blocked, but... Oh, just give me the damn message, you nattering ninny! Your Honor, what does it say? Oh dear, this is not good at all, Matt. Little Beaver. Silas, you've gone pale! And not in a good way. What is it? It's a report from Fort Anspoon saying a detachment of troopers were ambushed near the old mines on Collier's Bluff. Ambushed by whom? By the Cleveland tribe. They are warning the town of Big Gulch and the mines at Lake Albalo to take protective measures. No, that cannot be right. My people would not attack. Matt, Silas, something's wrong here. I agree, Miss Cockett. This doesn't sound right. What else does it say, Your Honor? Does it say anything else? You look stone cold. Yes. It says my nephew, Major Wiley Sumbish, is missing in action and presumed dead.